Good afternoon, everybody. This is Matt Croissant at McCarthy Hyundai, Blue Springs, Missouri, getting some information on another beautiful SUV that we have in our pre-owned inventory. 2014 Ford Explorer XLT. Coming in a nice black here. We got some brushed aluminum and chrome accents on this vehicle. Going along the body side moldings and the door handles there. Got a nice 18-inch alloy wheel set on here. Turn indicators will be on your mirrors. Privacy glass on all the rear windows here. You get a backup camera accompanied by some rear parking sensors. Dual exhaust on here. Vehicle is four wheel drive. A nice little tow package down there, a little two inch receiver. Fuel doors located on the right for you. It's capless. Beautiful looking vehicle. Now, you wouldn't be able to guess, but this vehicle has about 104,000 miles on it. Looking to be in great tip-top condition. Got a nice rail system up above for some extra cargo capability. Projector beam headlights up front with some halogen fog lights down below. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside, get out of this cold weather. We've got blind spot monitors on your side mirrors here, so you can see right there. Oh, nice. The Mazda's done. Going to be filming that up soon. Nice storage inside the doors here, as you can see. Power locks, windows, and mirrors. Front two windows are automatic for you. Then we've got a nice black leather interior. Driver's seat is going to be eight-way adjustable with power lumbar support. I'm going to hop on in here. Let that heated seat do some work for me. All right, on the left-hand side here, we're going to have some lighting controls. We've got automatic headlights, fog light controls, your interior lighting controls right here and dash illumination controls. And down below, we've got a power lift gate option. Nice. Let me go ahead and close that, though. Yeah, close that. Too cold right now. Nice 47 degrees out here today in Blue Springs. All right, we've got a leather wrap steering wheel here for you folks. You can unlock that. Then move this up, down, in or out, wherever you need that to be. Get that. Ah, come on. Just got to get in the right spot sometimes. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy now. Okay, so we've got some nice uh, steering wheel controls mounted on here to the left and right. Two directional pads with an OK button. Cruise control over here. And then we've got some media controls. Voice recognition, Bluetooth, volume, tracks, and presets. So let's talk about these. Um, on the left-hand side, we've actually got two screens. Digital over here to the left and right. Nice little speedometer with uh, shift indicator there. So on the left-hand side, we can see our intelligent four-wheel drive right now. Fuel range. Nice little tachometer there with the fuel gauge. You can also add a cooling gauge on there if you want. And then going here, we can check out trip one and two, fuel economy, driver assistance, and settings. Okay? So there's that for you. On the right-hand side, we've got our navigation. You can check out entertainment and phone information over here, too, with their corresponding colors to the entertainment system as well. Okay, Over here, we can also see ambient temperature, cardinal direction, and current time. And then the left-hand side is the odometer. 107,000 miles, even. Such a clean ride, for sure. This is a trade-in, by the way, from our local area. So that's going to cover all that for you. Left-hand one is going to control blinkers and brights. Right-hand one will control your front and rear wipers for you, too. Vehicle is warming up here, so I can hear the climate control system automatically kicking on the heat now that we've got some warm coolant to help that system. Up above here, oh, didn't see this outside. Dual panel roof here, sunshade, automatic. It's going to roll back for the moonroof, and it's going to, hey, 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 now. Now, let you calm down there. Press the wrong button. Sunshade. It's going to keep on rolling. <laughs> rolling back there. This is a static piece of glass for you. Okay. Sunroof controls will be right here. Tilt and slide. I was thinking they're sliding the wrong thing. Sunglass holder right here. Got some nice interior lighting controls for you. And then an auto dimming rear view mirror. Nice large vents right here for you. You can see we've got a nice center speaker for the audio system. Tweeters uh, nicely hidden here and some whoopers in the door for you. Entertainment system. We've got our phone, navigation, entertainment, and climate. You can click on any of these and it'll open up. Let's go ahead and check out climate, though. That'll be the easiest to go over, right? Okay, so right here you can see we've got dual climate, automatic temperature control, heated seats up front as well. My temp. 
All right, so there's a quick shortcut for that that I'm sure you can customize in the settings. Uh, this is a tri-climate vehicle as well, so we can get that powered on too. Let's get the whole vehicle warmed up here. There we go, yeah. All right, and then you can just switch right over here. The shortcut system is really nice, as you can see. Easy to just switch back and forth to uh, between these four different sections. CD player, then we've got some haptic controls right here uh, for everything. Climate control, seeking, tune, volume, fan speed, and power, defrosting, air conditioning. And then right here, you can go ahead and open this up. There we go. Nice little power center down here, guys. Let me get this gimbal adjusted. Yeah, there it is. Two USB ports with an auxiliary port, an SD slot, and a 12-volt outlet just right there for you. You can see you've also got some cable routing right here. Nice little port right there. So you can keep this closed or open. Cup holders with some pressure tongs for bottles. Your shifter. Park, reverse, neutral drive, and in manual mode, you've got manual shifting capability on the side. Checking out our backup camera, full clear view of the bumper here. Vertical lines representing the true sides of your Explorer. You can see I am good to travel back right there. Need to zoom in? Go ahead. Towing, center line, genius. Thank you, Ford. And then again, um, manual shifting capability. Just drop that down right there. That number is nice and large for you to see. You can start in second if you like. Great for snow time. Talking about snowy and different terrains, We've got our little terrain system right here for pavement. You can go over here. This is for mud and ruts, sand. You've also got snow, gravel, and grass right here. And then a downhill brake control, which will downshift your uh, transmission a couple times to give you some engine braking, um, which will take the wear and tear off of your pads and rotors if you're flying down some hills, okay? So that will keep your speed maintained. In here, we've got a nice center console. Utilization of the underside as well as another 12 volt outlet in here, coin holding, pen holders as well. It's all felt lined for you too. And you can see we've got cable routing again on the left and right hand side right here. Glove box is gonna be lockable. Dual tray for you, nice and large. Free light bulb, felt lined as well. Last but not least, our visors have a nice little card holder here. These are gonna be mirrored and they're lit and they telescope. All right, let's go ahead and check out our back seats as well as the hatch and then confirm our passenger seat adjustments. All right. Checking out our second row. We've got some nice storage in the doors. Drops are getting a little bigger out here. Cargo bags on the rear of the seats, 12 volt outlet as well as some rear climate control capability. You can see we've got captain's chairs on this model. Always nice to have, for sure. No armrests here on the inside, but we've got armrests here on the outside. Let's not forget our handles, hooks, lighting, ventilation, and this beautiful natural lighting coming in from the sunroof here. Again, lighting and ventilation on all three rows. Back here, you're going to be able to see two more people. You can see we've got some extra storage as well as some sound, too. We'll go ahead and move back there now. Rear seats fold down and recline and also go into a cargo mode. Power lift gate. Come on down. Or up, I should say. So, uh, this is not one of the power folding models. So, there is a step to this system. Right now, it's kind of in your cargo mode. Okay, so you've got this nice recessed flooring right here. Access to your spare tire, which is going to be right there too. You see the cut out there. You've also got a 12 volt outlet back here and some uh, some rear lighting. Uh, nice little uh, cubby right here, as you can see. That's just for storage. Hell yeah. Okay, so we've got some instructions right here. You can see that? I'm just gonna pause. Okay, there you go. There's your instructions. No need to demonstrate. Just kidding, ha ha ha. Step one, that's done. Step two, done. Let's see here, uh, let's see here, step one. All right, and then let's see. Uh, I can't do this with one hand, actually. I remember this is not it's not the easiest thing to do with one hand. So, yeah. All right, I lied. That's why I paused. Okay. Done with that. Really cool system back there. You can see two people. You can make it have a flat plane for storage or be in that little uh, cargo mode, too. Passenger seat. Looks like we've got 
one, two, three, four, five, six way adjustability with manual angle adjustment and manual lumbar control. Very nice. All right, that's going to wrap it up. 2014 Ford Explorer XLT. Really nice car. Guys, if you'd like any information on this vehicle, pricing, purchasing options, go over to McCarthyHyundai.com. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for me so that you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles I'm uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. Thank you so much, guys. This is Matt Persant at McCarthy Hyundai, Blue Springs, Missouri. I hope you're having a wonderful day.